today we're going to be looking at uh, regular expressions. In a tutorial I just did a couple of days ago, we used said and some regular expressions. Basically, reg regular expressions are uh, uh, characters or a group of characters that represent um, certain things in a string. So uh, that's not a very good explanation, but I'll show you here some very simple things using grep uh, and regular expressions that will help you search through files. Uh, so first, let's cat out. I have a Word file here that just has some lines that I typed up. You can see uh, we got a couple of space or lines that are blank here. We got Chris a number of times, but you notice that Chris sometimes is spelt with a capital K, sometimes with a lowercase K, sometimes with random capital letters. We got some lines with numbers. We got middle X a few times. We got both Timmy and Tommy, both with lowercase and capital I's and O's, uh, and a few other lines here. So let's start off and let's just say we wanted to find every line that has the word Chris in it. We can obviously grep, we can type Chris and the name of the file that we're searching through, and you'll see it will find some of the lines. Uh, it found four lines with the word Chris, um, but it didn't get the lines with the capital K's or the lines with the random capital letters. Now that's a simple fix without using regular expressions. We can just use the grep switch of dash I, which means ignore case, and we'll find every line that has Chris on it. But let's say we want just the Chris's that start with a capital or case K, but we don't want the one with the random capital letters. Well, that is very simple. What we're gonna do is we're gonna replace this first character and we're going to put some special characters inside these square brackets. Well, not really special characters, but we're going to put inside those square brackets our replacement values for that K. And we're just going to put K and capital K. And so basically, we'll take that character and search not just the one character, but we'll replace it with any character we put inside these brackets. So I can hit enter now, and you can see that it searched for both K, Chris with a capital K and a lowercase k, but since the IRS here is still lowercase, it ignored this Chris in this search. Another example of that is, as we said earlier, uh, well, let's just do grep-i to ignore case again, and we'll say Tommy. Oh, got to give it an input file. And we have two lines with Tommy, one with a capital O, one with a lowercase o, and we can do the same for Timmy. So now let's use some regular expressions in here and we will give that a capital T and we will give it a O and O, so a capital O and a lowercase O. We hit enter and it finds both the Tommies. We can do the same, we can go lowercase I, capital I and it finds both the Timmies. But we can also put, you know, I's and O's in here, both capital and lowercase and we'll search, we'll replace that character with each of the characters you put inside those square brackets. So making it easily to search through uh, all the Timmies and Tommies, as long as they have a capital T and a lowercase uh, M and Y at the end here. Let's cat out our word file again, look at what else we can search for. Uh, let's find, we got some lines that begin with Chris here and some that end with Chris, and some lines that begin and end with Chris. So let's do a search for lines that begin with Chris. We can go grep, right, if we spell it right, grep, and we can use this little caret symbol, which represents lines that begin with, and we can type Chris, make sure we do that properly, and we'll give it our word text, and you can see it found the only line that, begin, that begins with Chris with a capital K. We can combine that with our square brackets here, and put a lowercase and a capital K in there, and we'll find all lines that begin with Chris, regardless of whether it has a capital K or a lowercase k. So that's how you search the beginning of a sentence, or each line. If you want to search the end of each line, you can add this dollar sign at the end. So now, these are all the lines that end with Chris, regardless of the capital K or lowercase k. And once again, we can just put a regular k there, lowercase k, and it finds all the lines that end with Chris with a lowercase k or capital K. But basically, if you just put this dollar sign at the end, it means lines ending with. And um, you can also combine the two. So you can see we have one line that just has the word Chris here. 
if we do begins with and ends with, it will find only lines that contain that word or phrase. And hey, it found the only line that contained Chris alone. Um, so we've looked at uh, replacing characters with simple characters, other characters. Uh, we've done searching the beginning of lines and end the lines. Um, let's now look at uh, numerics. We can say here 0 9, and it will search for any line that has a numeric value in it. So there you go. We can find all the lines that have Metal X 1000. We have I like Linux Mint 10, and this is a random number and a random number. Uh, we can also, just like before, we can add a dollar sign at the end of this, meaning search the end of the line, and you'll see that we'll lose these two lines since they don't end with a numeric value. And we can also put that a few more times, like so. And you'll see that we'll lose this Linux Mint, I like Linux Mint 10, because we're looking for lines that end with at least three digits. And uh, so we have four lines here that end in at least three numeric values at the end. Uh, let me check my notes, see if there's anything else I want to go over in this tutorial, but I think I've hit a lot of it. Let me count out my Word file and see if there's anything else I might want to search for. Um, I think that's it for this tutorial. Oh, one more thing. Yes, I just thought of one more thing. So we showed before that you can search for lines that contain phrases between the beginning and the end like so. We can do Chris and we find the only line that contains Chris. We can remove that and we can say the caret dollar sign meaning begins and end with nothing in between it and we'll find all our blank lines. So as you can see we have a blank line up here, a blank line here, a blank line here, and a blank line here. And the search returns all of those right here. And what we can do to make that useful is we can also do uh, with grep-v, which inverts your search. And so now it will display all lines that don't contain this value. So it will remove all your blank lines. So that's just a quick first look at regular expressions. I'm not very good with regular expressions. It's something that I do want to uh, go over more in the future. Uh, and learn more and as I do learn more I will uh, give more tutorials it's something I've been wanting to learn for like two years now and just haven't given it the time but this was just a very basic look and I hope that that helps you with your searches uh, thank you and I hope that you have a great day please visit filmsbychris.com and there's a link in the description to uh, more on this post thank you very much and have a great day